Hey everybody, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Okami. Uh, this was actually technically supposed to take place of the uh, Kingdom Hearts spot that it was currently in, but I realized I didn't actually own the game. Nope, it started the attract mode again. Uh, so, we're just going to go into it. I'm just going to hit new game. And, um, yeah, have some zen during this COVID quarantine stuff. Yay. I'm just going to let the uh, intro credits play themselves. Then, thankfully, there are no, uh, there's no dialogue in this game, so I don't have to worry about talking over anything specifically. It is very pretty. Stupidly pretty go game. Long, long, I guess I'll read it out. Long, long ago, tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Uh-oh. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. It's a little weird reading this because the dialogue comes so slowly. I don't want to accidentally like skip dialogue. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shirinu. Shirinui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiran Yui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced well into the moonless night, but Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood in its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into his sacred or scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high, the golden sword dancing in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Gronui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kaimiki. When they reached the village, Gronui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirinui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark. 
then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki Village. In honor of Shiranui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukiyomi? Tsukiyomi. Yeah, I think that's it. Tsukiyomi. And placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Sikiomi? The sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Uh oh. Why would you do that? You done messed up. Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world, utter that prayer unto me, and unleash my power. He hit his head. Or one of his heads. Ooh, that looks bad. Well, time to find out what this game is all about. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Wood Sprite Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There's no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Emma Tarasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami up in Tarasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings 
happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> well, Amaterasu is above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Something stolen its way into my robe? Lord. Ho ho ho. Hee hee hee. Yeah, jiggle physics even in this game. Phew, what on earth? You again? Ow, 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 ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Man, that's... okay. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it! You look just like that statue of Shirinui. Oh, just ate him. Ooh, whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prized sword, Denkomaru, against you. That doesn't look good. Well, well what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, I'm a Tarasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakyo girl show said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're uh, taking a nap. Alright, so we finally have control. We can move around. I'm trying to get an idea of like how we're playing. Could I actually play this with my tablet? Ooh, that might be an interesting little thing. I'm going to see if I can do it with my tablet. I doubt it. But man, if I could like actually draw. I have a small drawing tablet. Where are we? Ooh, camera. Actually, camera feels pretty good. Where are we? I got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the mouse to look around. Sea changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Actually, that feels a little weird. I'd rather use this mouse. Okay. So now we finally get the chance to uh, take control. Ooh. Why is it so blurry? Man, is this game just always like this? Is there... Filter, normal, heavy. 
What is heavy filter? What does that mean? Oh, I think it's like the stuff around... Maybe light filter? God, the like glow is actually ruining things. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but it's like... Yeah, the graphics are on high. Original setting. Is there anything to turn that off? Aspect ratio, minigames... We'll turn them on. Why not? Okay, yeah, I guess this is just how the game is. Never mind. A little, like, motion blurry all over the place. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be restored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you could save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you get stuck or something like that. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. We're gonna go, go ahead and save the game. Get ourselves a save file going. Bam. Do I wish to save here? Heck yeah, I do. God, it took us 18 minutes to get here. That intro is, takes a long time, huh? Oh, we can't break stuff yet. Is this? Oh, it's inverted, that's why it's doing that. Oh, pots. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. Oh, I, I skipped something. Press click to burst them with your head. Now I can skip through dialogue. Couldn't do that before. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. And yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Okay, I have to uninvert my mouse. Camera control invert X axis. Better? Yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, can't break that. Uh oh. Whoa. Hold on there, Furball. Get a load of that. This chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press space to jump. And press space to again to do a wall jump. Now make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. I knew you all could do it. They say good luck is found in high places, so keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Dang right. Oops. Don't want to miss treasure. Also, don't want to miss yen. Money is useful. Especially in this game. Alright, let's open up this chest. Holy Bone S. Amaterasu's favorite stack restores three units of solar energy. So that's our health uh, healing item in this game. Holy snacks, because, you know, Amaterasu is a dog. So eating dog treats is nice. Looks like the bridge is out. This should be so hard. Um, Amaterasu, was it? It's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy, have you ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul, at least that's what they say. Just watch, it'll take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Oh. Well, look at that. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique, but there are 13. Each one is a power of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now will dwell within objects all around us, but... I don't know, god. How could anyone have the power to master all 13? Hint, hint. Spoiler. Oh. River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. Couldn't be that little putter over there, could it? Hmm. Surely not. Let's see what's up here first. Ooh. 
Ooh, stars. Wow, look at the stars twinkle. Oh, I can't <laughs> make it go forward anymore. Haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look, are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw in the missing star. Oh, he was doing it. Hmm, ah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press control to hold the brush, then left mouse to draw. Sure spend a heck of a lot of time practicing that. We can do that, and then boop, draw in the star. Actually, I might try and play the game with the tablet. It might be a little wonky. Let me know if the camera is all sorts of off, because then I, I won't do it. But it didn't feel horrible. Ah, well, if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men, and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed, the heavens, and renew the flow of stardust. And we get the power of rejuvenation. That was easy. Wow, that was Yomi Magi, or Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. What could master this incredibly god technique? Incredible god technique, rather. And yeah, we get an achievement. Look at that. No? I don't mind playing this game with... Oh, it actually feels pretty good. They might have thought about that. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull off a stunt like that. And yet... I actually... It's not bad. Alright, so we go over here. Then we press this, right? And then we can draw in. Oh, that feels really good with the tablet, actually. Holy crap. They might have actually thought about that. Whoa. A river of stardust. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is, who the heck drew the darn thing? Well, now we can swim across. Where would doggo? Look at our swimming. Wee! I mean, most of the camera... Oh! Did it really not connect all the way? There we go. I mean... Yeah, the up and down seem pretty fine. It's uh, at an awkward angle in general. You obtained Astral Pouch. Look what you found, Furball! This Astral Pouch here is amazing and can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Yeah, so the more food you get, basically you'll get a uh, chance to survive. Uh, it's like an extra life, sort of. You consumed apple. Nectar-filled sour apple fills Astro Pouch a little bit. Oh, goodness, I forgot every single one of these is different. You consume peach. Juicy and fragrant peach filled Astro Pouch a little bit. Oh, look, it's an orange. Orange with sharp citrus taste. Fills Astro Pouch a little bit. There's so much of that in this game. I... Oh, oh, man, this game actually controls well with the... Tablet, that's so crazy. Alright, well, I guess we're just doing that. We're just rolling tablet wise. Ooh. I think it's loading a minigame for me. Oh, nope, minigame didn't load. Alright, so now we're at the bottom of the village? Don't know where we are exactly. Hmm. A bunch of trees though. Oh, there's a horse. Better get that yen. So the yen spawns will actually like return 
Um, so, like, really, every time you see pots and stuff like that, you should always break them. Because either you're going to fa- fill your astral pouch just a little bit, or you may end up finding a... Uh, you may end up finding some money or something like that. Ooh, what's over here? You obtained a stray bead. Find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. I... I've never found them all. I've never actually beaten this game. I have played through a bit of it, but never actually played through all of it. So, who knows? If we find all of them, you know, that'll be fun. Fountain of Nagi. Nagi? What's his name doing here? Hmm. So, a fountain for Nagi, huh? I wonder what we'll find. That's an interesting looking rock. Okay, got some money here. Anything over there we care about? I don't think so. Oh, look at this little hidden area over here. Camera really has a habit of like going upwards, doesn't it? You consume dumplings. Doughy balls made from grain. Fills astral pouch a little bit. Uh -huh. Dumplings. Damn, I, I could go for some dumplings. One, no, well, I guess the real question is, when can't I go for dumplings? Who to the gods right there? Gods. Is there anything special behind the waterfall? Nope, it doesn't look like that, but there is stuff next to it. Okay. Don't worry. All these trees will fall eventually. See how it, like... It's a weird, like, upward angle in this game. It's not just me, like, controlling poorly. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf Shiranui. First the river of the heavens and now this. Where the heck are we, Furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's really in bad shape. God sure didn't do much to protect this place. Well. When we see something broken, looks like we better fix it. That really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you, anyway? Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a... Eat some mouse. Little mouse. Right? It is the mouse, right? I'm not going crazy. Whoa. Or I guess it might be your rat. Achigami. Well, well, if it isn't Mother Amaterasu. Been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to an ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. <clears throat> okay. Sure. And we get another technique. Hey, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shiranui. You know, the wolf with that fought and died alongside the great Nagi? When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy, Shiranui and Nagi? It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen the power slash technique myself. How about showing off your stuff on that boulder over there? Let me see if you slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Oh, it works so well. I love it. Wow, I didn't think you had it in your furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. Hey, Furball, or I mean Amaterasu, I've made up my mind. If you're sure new re reborn, then that means all you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. Hmm. Yeah. Amaterasu now has a flea. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I made a decision. But enough about that. Now you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sakio was talking about. Go back and give it a shot. Hmm. Then we got another achievement. Okay. But we're not done here just yet. So there's a lot of stuff you can cut now. What? There we 
go. You can cut down pretty much everything in the game. Uh, it's all fair game. Oh, can we not go down there? I could have sworn uh, th there was stuff over here. You can also cut through multiple things at once, as you, you see here. And there are benefits to like deciding to cut through the environment, like those rocks and stuff, because some of them will hold uh, little treasures every now and then. Not always, but sometimes. And sometimes the things will just respawn like immediately. Oh, look at that. Are we stuck? No, we're not. But look at that. Everybody catch that? Trees fall too. So this will cut basically everything that you see within your range. Oops. Hmm. Got to be a little careful of drawing this stuff. Like, it's got to be st a straight slash. Oops. Hmm. And it's got to be one line. Can we not cut those rocks? Guess not. Ooh, did I cut it all down? Look at that. Cut all those trees. And see, now we got some oranges here. Up another fruit of some sort. Yes, we do want to cut a whole bunch of stuff. We'll get some uh, goodies if we cut up a whole bunch of things. You can also, like, cut through pots and stuff like that if you don't want to, you know, do it one by one. But you should sort of aim a little bit, because then you use up less of the uh, ink that you would normally use. Can these be cut? I didn't think so. There we go. Uh oh, this is bad. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the left mouse button to use its power against them. So this is our attack as well. Look, Amy, once you caught them off guard and turn them black and white, they're pretty easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. So, when they're like that, you can cut them. And that's how you, uh, get ink bottles. Did I get, like... Oh, I didn't get the, like, epic kill. Dang. Lupine and Divine. I think that's for winning my first battle, probably. So there are ways to get epic kills, in which case you would get, like, demon fangs. Uh, these are things that you can exchange for, um, for random things later on. It requires precise timing of when you kill the enemies. I used to be really good on it on the Wii version, but it takes a little getting used to, to be honest. All right. Nothing from that. I have sworn. Is there really nothing over there? Hmm. Oh, look at that. There's ink in there. Also, you can draw stars in the sky and stuff like that. That's pretty fun and interesting. I could have sworn there was something over there, but I guess I'm wrong. Of course, always take down these trees. Why? Well, we're not against nature, per se, but certainly isn't helping us in this circumstance. Okay. I think you also get something at certain points if you do, like, all of this. I don't know if it necessarily helps us here. That slash just was too curved. And that one is out of range. Oh, another ink bottle. Hmm? To there we go. Why do it doesn't have to be like totally straight? It can be at an angle upward, which feels a lot more natural. What was that? Oh, or was that the astral pouch filling up a little bit? It might have been. Oops, that was weird. Oh, I can use WASD to move that around. Right, because I lose camera control with my mouse. That makes sense. Oh, another fight. Alright. Let's see if I can get it right. 
Is it? No, oh, that's not right. Did I do it right? Oh, I don't think so. Consumed potato. Dry but satisfyingly flavorful. Those astral pouch Hmm. I don't think I did that right. And you get graded on every fight. I don't think it matters on the grades, like not the end of the day. Not the end of the world if you don't get a good grade on the fights. Because there are random encounters all over the place, so it's not like there's a finite amount of encounters. There are a great deal of encounters, actually. Because this is on an SSD, I wonder if we're never actually going to have a, uh, a proper thing. A, a proper minigame. Because this game has minigames during the loading screens. But um, because we're on an SSD, I don't think that they'll actually load in time for us to play them. Well, that's pretty weird. Let's see. Is there anything here that I'm missing that we can cut? I mean, we can cut through uh, certain things like those rocks, but I don't think those rocks are worth cutting through. I will take some time and destroy these. Is there anything down there? Nope, just pots. I don't think I'm missing anything, right? Unless there's something down here. There is not. Well, we know that these enemies aren't going to follow us into the spirit world, it looks like. Spirit world might be safe. Anything in this rock? Nothing in this rock. They wouldn't necessarily put anything here anyway, because this is the intro area, and I don't think you ever come back here. So putting something missable here would suck. Alright, it's real quick. The one annoying thing is that you can absolutely just, like, go right past the, uh, save point. Alright. Save completed. That goes really quickly, which I'm happy about that. Yay, game SSDs. Alright. Let's go get that fruit. We can cut it down now. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get one of those minigames. In fact, it might be taking longer to load now because of the minigames. Like, it might be trying to load the minigame in addition to the game. Well, look at that. Looks like we saved the village, everyone. We're big damn heroes. Wow, the village has been restored. Sakuya came through big time. He really was protecting the village, but I sure wish I could spend more time in her kimono, if you know what I mean. Oh god. <laughs> but seriously, with monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Do we have to? Alright, I don't think there's anything for us here. I think, yeah, we just have to go down. The game doesn't really, like, open up for us until much later. What? There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot that you could slash Isun as well. Oops. He doesn't appreciate it, obviously. Got nothing from these trees. I see how it is. Hmm. You don't look alright, buddy. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this. I know I'm cutting everything. I do this a lot.
Uh oh. This looks bad. Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned into stone or something. Not again. It's one of those smaller monsters that are lurking about. Or like that, it's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find something with a pulse around here. Oh, that's bad. Well, there's only one place I think that there's a person with a pulse. So we gotta go right back up. And see, all the trees are already back. Or was it that one tree that was back? It doesn't matter. I believe we go up here? Could be wrong. I believe we want to go up here to see the village elder. Oh, there's a water area. Got a bad feeling about this. Mika Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. Oh. Good. Okay. Going here was useless. Can I not jump down there? Now there's no fall damage in this game. Thank Christ. Alright. Maybe we go to the edge of the village then? Ooh. I have... Never noticed that before. Like, legitimately never noticed. I think that's a different power. We're not going to be able to do that anytime soon. Hmm. The save point's still active. That's good at the very least. Hmm. Looks like this person's turned to stone too, so we can't leave the village either. No good, this one's not moving. Everyone was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on here. The village is back, but what's up with this dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village too? Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Oh, I forgot that there's literal goddamn... Oh, or maybe I needed to go here first before I went back up there. I don't remember why. Yes, I know a save completed. Let's go back to that sacred deck we were on before. We they add a second boost of speed? I feel like I don't remember this being faster than the original game. I appreciate it if they did, because Traveling back and forth, back and forth, does get a little annoying from time to time. Go back to that sacred deck we were on before. That was weird. Hmm. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far as the eye can see. And not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? If only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have our... Solves the sun. But I guess that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Or if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. Surprise! Huh? You're not actually trying to draw a sun, are you? you sure you're up to... Did I not do it? There we go. Oh, I guess I didn't connect it. What? What the? Hmm. Come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. It's the name of the sun god. So it'd follow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. With it, you could even turn night into day. Wow, you're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician out of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after the poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Emmy, let's go back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. Hmm? Who are you? What? Village Elder Mr. Orange. A white wolf? Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranui. No, it can't be. That story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiranui. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Me. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to growl like that. Do you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words. I just stated facts. Uh-oh. There they are. I don't know if we have access to demon fangs yet. I don't think we can be getting them this early. What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, furball. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkomaru. Did we just use the old man to attack them? That's impressive all to itself, I guess. Nope. Hmm. I feel like I am missing something. No, oh, whatever. Got a good bonus of money there. And so when we clear an area of killing by killing the enemies, uh, we uh, heal it a little bit. Ah, oh, you really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself some praise. And look how that dried up spring began flowing again. That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the gods' power to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and may then that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, your true power might just shine through. But boy, there's sure have been a lot of monsters around lately. And that Mr. Orange you tossed around on the sacred deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak that people can't see them anymore. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, uh. Anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Furball. And so begins the game. You obtain feedback. Seeds. Oh, yeah. Freshly roasted seeds that seed-loving animals can't resist. Why, you little devil, look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food. Still, we could save it to give to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but what the heck, let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot, there was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the F1 button to open the fan menu. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you have. There are other things you can do there, too. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. I... Oh, Spirit Globe S. Humans, faith made solid. Restores a little solar energy. So, as you can see, Amaterasu does not like being in water. Actual water. The spirit water is, you know, fine and dandy. That's not a problem. But uh, spirit water is an issue for Amaterasu. It's a fun game. It's so pretty. Like, wow, they did a good job. So, that thing with the seeds... Uh, it's another way to raise your praise, because humans aren't the only things that will restore faith in gods. Uh, rather... Hmm? Oh, that's right. We don't cut these trees down. We do something else to them later. Yeah. I forget how we use the seeds. Hello, we're gonna feed you. Oh, we only have one. Um... Yeah, why not? There we go. So basically, like, each area has some animals within it. And if we go through and we feed all of the animals in that area, if we interact with all of them, good things will happen? Are we just stuck here? Hello, game? How long does this cutscene last? I, don't, I, have to, I guess I have to press F1 to get out of it? So we get some praise for uh, feeding the animals here. And you can see which animals you've uh, gotten praise from because they have little hearts above them. So we want to find seed and we want to find, you know, animal food. And we want to feed all of the animals that we possibly can. Like the ones here. Uh-oh. Uh, great Shiranui. Oh, no. Oof. 
Ah, I feel it. I sense it. The foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see? Right behind you now. Uh-oh. Whoop. I messed up. Ooh, did I get all three of them? Heck yeah, I did. Yeah, I don't think I can do the, uh... Special thing yet for demon fangs. I wonder when that gets unlocked. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. Fighting went on for exactly nine seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I've chosen the path of Buddha, but I see it's in you another power. And I see the path you have chosen is also a path of truth. So, I don't remember exactly. Monster may be gone, but this place still lacks life. The land does not have enough power to give the sacred tree. I guess if you just kill things quickly enough, he's uh, totally fine. I think maybe I needed to save the food, and if I praise the, uh, or like, rather healed the, uh, if I fed, that's the right word, if I had fed the animals directly next to him, he would appreciate that more. Real quick, I want to check out the, uh, space up here. I don't think anything new has happened. Oh, no, never mind. There is something new up here. I forgot about this. Hello. Wow, a white wolf? I thought the statue of Shurinui had disappeared, but you look just like it. It it didn't just come to life, did it? Hey, sis, this dog's got something weird on its back. What? Stop being silly. That's how rumors start. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oops, what do you think you're doing? My bad. I have to nonsense about seeing the door of light here before. But I did, I did see it. Right inside the shrine, there's a door of light. It seems that she believes a little bit more than uh, she does. I don't see any door of light, but it was there inside the shrine. I saw it. Boo hoo. Oh yeah, you can like bite and move them slightly. Oh, oh okay. We can uh, help them out a little bit later. Did I do anything? No? Okay. Examine. The statue of Nagi was erected to protect the village, you see. It's located even deeper than Shiranui's statue. I must really revere him. Still, wasn't there an even bigger statue of him around here? Yeah, there was. That was a little weird. Alright. We're not going to spend too, too much time in this first episode. That's right, there's falcons. How do you feed the falcons? I don't even remember. Where do we get more seeds? That's what I want to know. Ooh, ginseng. Roots bursting with nutrients. Ooh, cabbage. Thick and fibrous vegetable. Eat as many of these early. Radish. Pure white spherical vegetable. The earlier you eat all of these, the uh, less you have to see all of those little things pop up. Okay, I think we're all good here for now. We'll need to give some seed to those birds when we uh, have some more. Unfortunately, we don't have any just yet. Excuse me, game? Ooh, Chinese cabbage. On the simple side, but tasty. Okay. Ooh, can't cut that big rock. So here's the village. There's lots and lots of stuff to do here in the village. But for the immediate moment, we're just going to go right over there. And we're going to save because we have a lot that we need to do here. And we'll check out the village next time and uh, do some little mini quests for our village friends. So, for the time being... Ooh, how many safe slots do I have? Oh, an enormous amount. Lovely. Okay. Well, I'm just going to save here. Go. So, for now, thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye